second video in a series of 10 tutorials on how to use the pen tool in Illustrator CC. In the last video, we learned the basics of the pen tool, including how to make both straight and curved lines. In this video, we'll talk about different options that you can use with the pen tool. Again, I want to say thanks to Verlu over at verlu.com duo.com for supplying this worksheet for us and if you'd like to use this worksheet there is a link to her website in the description and this video goes along with pen tool exercises to learn illustrator tools unit at digitalartteacher.com so if you're teaching graphic design you can check the info bar at the top for more teaching resources let's talk about the options that you see when you click and hold the pen tool within the toolbar there are several options, including the regular pen tool, the add anchor point tool, the delete anchor point tool, and the anchor point tool. Over on the side, you see a shortcut for each. Of course, the pen tool is the key P, add anchor point is plus, delete is minus, and the anchor point tool is shift and then C. Let's talk about each one of these in turn starting with the Add Anchor Point tool. Go back to one of the lines or shapes that you've already created and experiment with adding anchor points. You can add anchor points to any shape or line on your document. Of course, if you happen to miss a line, then you will get this pop-up. So if you need to zoom in, feel free to do that. You can use the space bar if it's helpful to move your screen when you're zoomed in this far. You may notice that you can also add anchor points with the regular pen tool. The difference between the two tools is that you can only add anchor points with the regular pen tool to the line or shape that you currently have selected. If I try to add to a line that I don't have selected, it will just create a new line. Whereas if you have the add anchor point tool, you can add an anchor point to any line in your whole document. The delete anchor point tool will allow you to delete any anchor point on any line or shape in your document. Similar to the add anchor point tool, you may use the regular pen tool to delete anchor points, but again, only to the line or shape that you have currently selected. Of course, you will need to make sure that when you are deleting anchor points that you see the word anchor before you click. Otherwise, you'll get that dialog box. Deleting anchor points is a bit more destructive to your designs than adding anchor points. So if you delete something and it doesn't look right, you can always do Command Z to undo. Now let's say that I wanted to add some kind of curve to this rigid line up here. I might grab my anchor point tool and click and add on the point I'd like to change. And if you go the wrong way, it will give you a loop. So make sure that you move slowly so that you get the curve you're looking for. Similarly, I can remove curves by clicking on a curved anchor with a single click. So we went over adding an anchor point, deleting an anchor point, and converting the anchor point. Knowing these different options is important, but as you work through a design or outline, it may be helpful to know some shortcut keys and tricks to make things run a little smoother. Let's start with talking about a line that you've left and now want to continue working on. With the pen tool selected, hover over either end of the line until you see the anchor and click to start without a curve, or if you want to have a curve, click and drag the mouse to the desired distance to make your curve. If you're working on a line that you started as a curve but wish to change to a sharp angle, you can always click the previous anchor to start in a new direction. Note that you can't continue working on a shape that you've created with the pen tool because there are no endpoints for you to begin and end with. But let's explore with the direct selection tool and see what we can do. With this tool selected, you can click any point on your lines or shapes and move either the anchor points or the handles. 
Note that you cannot add or subtract anchors or handles, just move them. And then don't forget that you have the shift key that you can use either when creating new lines or when adjusting handles or anchors to keep your line at a 45 or 90 degree angle. Now armed with the direct selection tool and the shift key, you should be able to move on to the next section in your worksheet called curves with anchor points. So click, shift, drag to the two, click, release, and then click on the anchor point again and drag while holding shift to the next point. Click, release, click again, drag to the six, and continue until your line is finished. And again, command click. When you finish this video, you should have the first page completely finished. And I'll see you in the next video.